All right. Let's get this started. Definitely characters are going to be trying to make use of their good mid-range options with Gordo and PK Fire. Uh, DGD obviously having that inhale, as you can use as an anti to it on an approach, versus uh, Lucas having that uh, F-Smash stick he can use to reflect Gordo's as well as just a lot of hits being able to swap them away. Some good damage being built up by the King already with some of the early DGD stuff already kind of has him off stage trying to get these setups with the Gordo. Good F tilt to keep him off. Can't quite land the PK fire back, and that Gordo's going to catch the jump, so hasn't managed to find his way out of the situation. And the fair on the drop is going to take that first stock pretty early. We'll see if Sparks is able to pull this back. Starts it with a Zer up tilt and has him on the platform. Doesn't quite find the tech chase, but a good parry in there is going to get him back into a good spot. Unfortunately, not able to continue that much further. Now a down tilt will get him at the ledge. Gordo hits him off and sticks into the down B. That was kind of insane. Uh, especially if that was on purpose. But manages to get the PK Thunder 2 above everything. Doesn't stop the damage, but might stop the bleeding for now. Uh, kind of weird clanks at the ledge. Gets uh, that down tilt out of it and gets shot out into the stage. Uh, no weird situation there. Just able to double jump back up with Lucas's insane double jump. PK3 is not able to catch him. That Gordo is just going to fly right on by. Gonna have to get back to ledge. Ops to go high. Very good option to avoid that dash attack. Tries to throw out a second one, but Spark's not gonna fall for that. Uh, unfortunately, these Gordos are doing a very good job of anteing out these PK freeze attempts. Uh, but a nice kind of stall drift above the air, <laughs> just being a little too short for the Gordo, and then able to find the up smash to take that stock very high percent, but definitely not an undoable situation. And still has another stock to work with if he really needs, if he's gonna end up needing it, which he might soon if he's able to find his down air. No, finds an. Finds the fair for a uh, little bit of compensation afterward, but no crazy spike here. Fourth throw almost killing, not quite. Manages to go above the Gordo. Doesn't go for a bear spike or anything as Lucas is able to, uh, Sparks is able to find his way back on. Has King at the edge, but those up airs are very dangerous, and one of them will end up claiming Sparks' second stock. He start to build up this low percent uh, combos again. Avoids the Gordo that time, but doesn't land the PK freeze either way. This is the first there. Air dodge is back on, but only into the F tilt. The king trying to pull out that jump, but not getting anything there. Sparks a little bit uh, further away from the edge to not get hit by those up airs this time. Models behind the inhale. Get anything? No, unfortunately. King is able to come back down. Very nice uh, double PK fire. One to catch the dash attack, one to catch the Gordo. Uh, not quite close enough to get that inhale there. Very well, uh, nice PK freeze. Sneaks right over the stage and catches him. Helps him get back to the stage a little bit better. Gordo's gonna catch that. Still has his double jump, has the Zare to get back. Not too much problem, but wants to get this reversal, and that Greed is gonna get punished by the inhale into the forward air. He really wanted to try to press that ledge advantage, but King just playing. Uh, passively waiting for his opportunity to punish that aggression. Let's watch the gameplay. Mark's just trying to get around these Gordos, playing this game a little more uh, patiently than we saw kind of at the start of last game, and working out very well these up till the anti hairs have the king a couple times. Not able to find the up smash afterwards, though. Tries to catch the tech roll with PK Freeze, but not a super reliable option, especially on tech away reverse, or an extra Gordo throw there. Doesn't lead to anything. Could have been a lot of damage. Gets around the PK Freeze. Can he get a ledge trap? Tries to catch the jump. Fades back and still hits him with an air anyway. So another aggressive up smash. We've seen a couple of these from Sparks. I don't think it has a good chance of killing at this percent, but it could definitely build up a lot of damage. Not getting hit by that dash attack. Good parry on the nair. No stick, unfortunately, is going to need us to get up the hard way. But still finds his way back up with that back air. Now tries to come off with this fair, but Sparks avoiding it this time. Almost falling into the inhale. Uh, gives him a PK fire to spit back out. We're just a little bit too close for the PK fire timing to work out. Gonna have to PK thunder. Here goes high. The king trying to be ready for it, but doesn't quite have the right timing. Definitely not the easiest recovery in the world to mess with. Excellent down smash time to get the two frame on the DGD recovery. 
And now, got a reasonable lead. If only 86% isn't the most in the world, but didn't get spit off, and he has to avoid the edge guard here. Goes high above the fair. He can for the up air, either in an unfortunate SD with that uh, walk off inhale. King's definitely going to be playing from behind now. But definitely could find something, especially if he's able to find the kill with that up air. Only full stock deficit, not basically what you expect from an SD, so it's not anything worse. Some good early percent can build him up to 42 already on the second stock. And then it resets back to neutral. Looks for the suck on that. Ooh, excellent uh, use of the stick. I didn't. I would have expected he had time to get that after the inhale reflects, but some definitely good knowledge could change how this goes. Might be a little more comfortable using these PK fires in neutral now that he knows that he can potentially reflect them at that max distance. Aragod is back. But has to get through the Gordo. The down smash going to hit him right back into it. Now, King just setting up these you know, ledge traps is a little greedy with the dash attack there, and that's going to give Sparks an opportunity to come back. Definitely a uh, more scary option because it'll absolutely kill, but has enough lag that if Sparks is able to avoid it, King hit accidentally runs into that corner. A little unfortunate. I'm playing around this one. And this time we see King just using the Gordos. No laggy options. Just wants to try to clean up the edge guard nicely. Catches the Nair on the jump. No up there, though. Very well placed Gordos. Tries to catch the jump with the fair. The snake, rope snake, uh, failing him a little bit, not grabbing the ledge. But still no issues getting back. A little close for those uh, BK fires. Tries to be aggressive with that up smash. Potentially could kill uh, at this percent, but the king... Good patience, wait above it, and punish it out afterwards. Now only has this last stock to work through. We've seen him build up quite a bit of damage pretty easily in these games so far, especially if he keeps catching these Gordos. Goes for the F-Smash, but Rope Snake gonna come in the clutch there. Get it right out of him. Are players gonna are these two gonna be able to keep up a more patient gameplay, or is one of them gonna start to get a little bit antsy? You see Sparks going in for the aggressive up smash under the platform that's gonna get punished with a drop through grab. He's got a ton of lag on that F smash, and now with the Gordo hit, he finds himself off the edge. Inhale gonna be far enough away that Sparks can just normally get up into it, but still has trouble getting through these Gordos. Now the king wants to just end this stock with the Gordo into the throw into it. 141 barely avoids that Gordo with the uh, double jump and rope snake. These anti-airs seem to start to throw out a lot of hitboxes here, a lot of up tilts. That one does land, though. Good. Zare into the Gordo. Gets him now, tries to go off stage with the down air. Throws out a second one, now he's going to have to pick a Thunder, too. King not trying to intercept it this time, but we'll just catch the roll get up with the up tilt. Very well played, 2-0.